Black women trying to create their own films often find the doors of opportunity shut to them. But our guest today, Tara Renee, has broken down those doors and created a space for other black women to walk through. Her company, African American Women in Cinema, has been around since 1996, and she's here with us today to talk about that and the chapter in a new book called Michelle Obama's Impact on African American Women and Girls. Welcome, Tara Renee. <laughs> Welcome, Tara Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate You're being here. Welcome. <laughs> We're honored to have you. Thank so you. we just want to jump right into the mm -hmm. book. And how did your chapter in this book come Yeah, around? how did that happen? Well, here's the story. I uh, received the pass to attend the United Nations. Nice. And it was actually a three-month pass okay. to attend some events. And on the last day, I started not to go. But I went on the last day, and there was a program there that caught my attention. Mm -hmm. So I went to the program, fabulous program. There I met the great-granddaughter of Ida B. Wells. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. gosh. <laughs> She's like, as yes. a journalist, that's What's like amazing. She, what's her name? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Who well, the show is. Michelle Duster. And so mm. okay. she was equally excited of meeting me as I was of her. And oh, so she... Amazing actually invited me she told me she had a deal to write a book about Michelle Obama and her affection and uh, on African-American uh, girls and women mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I was uh, just blown away and she said wow. well we would love to have your participation that's amazing and I was shocked and I said okay well I'll try mm -hmm. <laughs> and I wrote something and several months later got an email saying that it was accepted and Ooh. I was blown away. Oh my God. And here's the fruit of it. Here's so what, what what is her effect on you mm. personally? Michelle Obama, her. Wow. Uh, without giving away too much what I wrote about, mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. of all, it was an honor to have someone like Michelle Obama as the first lady. Yes. She, her class, her style as yeah. a mother, as a wife, as a woman of who just, I mean, just very intelligent. Uh, it was just wonderful to see her right. on that particular platform mm -hmm. and being positive. So I wrote about some of the unique effects that it had on me mm -hmm. uh, as her being in the office, one of which was it appeared that it gave some people permission to say, oh, you're beautiful. Oh, I love the the, the hairstyle you mm -hmm. have or the mm. outfit you have. Because let's face it, uh, uh, Michelle Obama is a fashionista. Yes. So. <laughs> yes, very true, very yes. true. Yes. Like so, most black yes, women. Yes, many, anyway. yes. Yes, yes. Yep, yeah. keep it together, <laughs> girl. <laughs> so Easy. It was, it was an amazing time, uh, pleasant eight years of right. just that level of power and confidence being displayed mm -hmm. on that level. Right. So yeah. it was just... And being happy. her, right? Yeah. Just being her flawed mm -hmm. and all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I right. know this was amazing. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And it's called The Beauty of Michelle Obama. That's what your chapter's called, guys. Mm -hmm. So you guys got to pick it up. Yes, you got to <laughs> pick it up, guys. Where can we find the book? Well, right now mm -hmm. it's available online. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can go to Amazon mm -hmm. and... And also, if you send me an email at info at aawic.org. Say that again slowly for our sure. viewers. If you can send me an email at info at aawic.org, we will make sure that you can get the link and purchase your copy. Yes, mm -hmm. everyone get your link. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. But I, I'm glad you mentioned AAWIC. <laughs> we gotta talk about that mm -hmm. too. So this yeah. is since 1996 now, so we're going 22 years. Well, so. actually 1997. Okay. Um, and it was an idea and a concept uh, that was birthed out of supposedly, uh, it was only going to be a one-time event, and it came about due to lack of opportunities right. of women of color in mm -hmm. entertainment. And I wanted to change that, just so young and so green. Mm -hmm. When I got called uh, for an audition mm -hmm. that Warner Brothers uh, was shooting a, a motion picture. Because you're an actress. 
Well, I kind of dibble and dabbled in it. So they wanted a, a tall African American woman who was not um, a size zero for mm -hmm. under five role. And when I got to the audition site, mm -hmm. and I was blown away to see about a thousand women who fit the bill. Oh boy! And I said to myself, I got to create jobs. So that. That's what you wow. said to yourself. You have to create wow. jobs. So Most people like, "This is too many bitches." Yeah. <laughs> Good. And, and those exact words. That's what they say. Yes. You know what you say. This is ridiculous. <laughs> wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. So you were like thinking in those terms. Mm -hmm. Then didn't you think about? maybe the obstacles that you would have come up against did that ever enter your mind at all? no no just just young ambitious um, mm. always had a mindset of wanting to help mm -hmm. uh where there was a need and that's just been in the family line i mean i had uh, an uncle who marched with dr king and was mm. arrested and all that so that's always been in the blood right. to just right. see a need and try to fix it right. wow. had no idea what was to come. Okay, so what was to come? You tried to put together that very first film festival. How did that come together? Well, actually, it was through, uh, well, let me, let me say this and get right to that point. Mm -hmm. So I, in wanting to create jobs for women of color, mm -hmm. I wrote a screenplay, and that was my way of creating jobs. What was it called? Oh, gosh, it was so long ago. <laughs> <laughs> you remember your first screenplay? Actually, it was called Troubled Woman. Yeah. Yeah, okay, Troubled, Troubled Woman. Woman. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So from there, friends of mine encouraged me to apply for a grant. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to do it because I did not want to put all that work and effort into it, only to, to be rejected. Oh, no. But did it anyway, and I ended up getting the grant. And there I met a young lady who wanted to be my publicist because when I got the grant, mm -hmm. in the letter says, okay, we're doing an awards luncheon and you have to come down and pick up your check. Mm -hmm. So that's their way of making sure everyone come to the luncheon. Right. right. So when I went there, I met a young lady who wanted to be my publicist. Nice. And out of that meeting was only supposed to be a one-time event. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, I'll call it African American Woman in Cinema. Mm -hmm. The whole purpose of it was to bring attention mm -hmm. and resources so I can fulfill my dream of hiring women in the industry. Wow. wow. But what right. happened was what happened was <laughs> <laughs> what happened. Women from everywhere came when we launched it and I said this is a need and I think that this is my calling and mm -hmm. what I'm supposed to be doing. And years later, many awards that I didn't even plan or even had the hindsight to see, right. like, for example, Women of the Year from the NAACP. NACP. Right, yeah. that was mm -hmm. amazing, wow. The United States Postal Stamp Hattie McDaniel Award. Mm -hmm. And then going to Paris um, November last mm -hmm. year to receive the African Leadership Award yeah. in partnership with Mandela, uh, Nelson Mandela. Institute. Oh, wow. That is amazing. So, yeah. You just you got have, accolades uh, and accolades and accolades. Wonderful journey. It's been good. such a humble spirit. <laughs> well, Goodness. Thank you. Right. <laughs> very true. Very true. You're going to come across very humble. And well, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, my thank goodness. You. That is amazing. We're sitting with the queen. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Thank so, you. I mean, in terms of like mm -hmm. you're talking about all these awards mm -hmm. and all these accolades mm -hmm. and stuff like that, is there is there something mm -hmm. in particular that mm -hmm. stands out where you said, oh, my God, I cannot believe mm -hmm. This is happening right now. Wow. Well, actually, when I went to Paris. Really? And I could not believe that I was on a plane mm -hmm. going to this major award ceremony attended by world leaders. Wow. Was the only woman to receive an award. And it, the award really? was beautiful. It was like this tall, gold. And the name of the award again? It's the African Leadership Award. Wow. wow. For best female manager. Oh, nice. That's the title that they gave me. Really? And I was just blown away. Wow. But the mission that I set out to do mm -hmm. began slowly but surely uh, being accomplished. We were able to offer, uh, several years ago, filmmakers distribution deals 
Oh, and wow. This, that is a game yeah. changer. Yeah. Well, it started when the whole Oscar So White protest yeah. mm -hmm. jumped off. Mm -hmm. And then I thing. started getting uh, emails and calls being contacted by institutions that realized their catalog was not diversified enough. Right. Mm. And with the name of African American Woman in Cinema, we said, well, how. We can't get no more diverse than that. How do we, <laughs> how do we, help? How do we partner? How yeah. do we partner? Right. So okay. that phone call mm -hmm. was very interesting. So we ended up partnering with the organization called Shorts TV, mm -hmm. whose founder mm -hmm. is a member of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Science, mm -hmm. oh, based nice. in London. Nice. Okay. And he offered, through his colleague, a deal where the filmmakers' uh, films will be licensed and pay both euros as well as u.s dollars for their film oh that's yeah. amazing mm -hmm. oh, well mm -hmm. i'll submit one i have a film that <laughs> okay. i can submit to you oh yeah. my god that's so crazy i'm <laughs> like wait a minute i'm really sitting so next to the <laughs> the ambition in me say it girl now <laughs> please submit please I, well, oh my gosh so you know you're talking about you know doing all of these things and mm -hmm. you know seeing a need and filling that mm -hmm. need mm -hmm. the, but the Game mm -hmm. has changed. It's mm -hmm. changed in the past mm -hmm. 20 years. And so mm -hmm. how have you seen that mm -hmm. kind of change, you know, the kinds mm -hmm. of films you're getting mm -hmm. and, and how you run your mm -hmm. business? Well, the whole technical uh, technology really opened mm -hmm. up a lot of doors because back when we started, mm -hmm. you know, even editing was a major and very expensive process. Yeah. It, it, right. it's, it's, it's real tedious back. right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm having an issue doing yeah, my little yeah, short editing films. Is, editing is a lot. <laughs> not a game. Yeah, it yeah. is tough. And then at the time, once you spliced your, your film pieces together and, and the sound, you know, just making sure all that was in sync, mm -hmm. then it was trying to get a distribution deal. Yeah. And a lot of the filmmakers that we had at the time mm -hmm. either four-walled the theater or they just had private screenings, okay. different right. venues like a church, mm -hmm. things of that nature, and then they did the festival circuit okay. and really you know, tried to drive traffic and promotion around that. But now, it's since you sad. could Right. Upload it. Yeah, you can do it yourself. Uh -huh. Go to Issa Rayway. <laughs> yeah. And drive traffic to your YouTube channel, mm -hmm. things of that nature. So that has changed a lot. Mm -hmm. It's still hard, though. It too. is hard. Mm -hmm. You're right. Because, mm -hmm. you know, even though the guards were at the door when we started making sure only a few mm -hmm. One. filmmakers. Mm -hmm got a major distribution deal. Right. Mm -hmm. There is the changing of the guard, but it's still a process. Right. Yeah, it's still a process. Right. Um, the thing about technology, though, if you're able to get a lot of buzz, right. that can kind of help it a little bit Right, exactly. More. But getting the buzz is a thing. Yeah. Right? You Especially when you're trying to do stuff um, decently. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because ratchet sells. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> Right, it does. Ratchet it's really self. <laughs> Ratchet naked. Yeah. You know, you know, like, what? It's, yeah, happening. it's true. It's true. <laughs> it really does. Mm -hmm. it, it sells way too much. Oh, Lord. <laughs> well, the, the other thing that we did, we we're very fortunate to carve out a platform during the Sundance Film Festival. Mm -hmm. Wow. And so we did that uh, actually a couple of years ago. I met up with Leslie Harris, who mm -hmm. I love, mm -hmm. and she said, Tara, it's almost my 25th anniversary of Just Another Girl in the IRT. And I couldn't believe it was yeah. that long. Uh -huh. Right. So we went back to Sundance, mm -hmm. where she won the jury, first African-American woman mm -hmm. to win a jury prize. And mm -hmm. we did the screening there, and it was so well received. Mm -hmm. So it afforded us a relationship. And then this year, we screened our first ever faith-based film. Oh, oh nice. nice. Wow. It starred Edson, Clifton Edson Powell. Edson? Yes. Nice. Mm -hmm. Wow. Star Clifton amazing. Powell, mm -hmm. Tracy Braxton, Roland Martin. Oh, nice. Special cameo of Tasha Cobbs and Lamont Rucker. Nice. Oh, my goodness. And the venue, they loved it so much. We mm -hmm. actually end up winning an award for best program during the Sundance Film Festival. Oh, Whoa, that is yeah. so, that's so amazing. Mm -hmm. amazing. That's mm -hmm. big. That oh my huge. gosh. That so really now huge. we're preparing to go next year. Okay, that's what's going to be my next question. I'm like, are you, are you going back? <laughs> 
Yes. Okay. And we have a, a great, great film that we're super excited about. It deals with mental health. Mm -hmm. Oh, such and an important thing yes. right now. Yeah, it is. It we is. just got off the tour. Uh, we launched an anti-gun violence tour. Yes, mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. heard about that. Mm -hmm. I yeah, heard about that. Yeah, yeah you, you had your final stop here in Brooklyn, right? Final stop in Brooklyn. Right. Uh, we are going to do a makeup stop, though, in Chicago mm -hmm. next month. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it was a eye-opener very insightful the films that we screened mm -hmm. i think even really wow. encouraged the audience to talk even more and what i found so amazing mm -hmm. utilizing this medium of bringing or ushering or paving a way mm -hmm. to usher in healing yeah that was one of the biggest things on this tour that i saw right. because there were people in the audience mm -hmm who were just living in trauma yeah. for years. Wow, and that's was afraid profound. to speak, mm -hmm. but they felt comfortable in the environment that we created mm -hmm. to speak up for the first time oh, what wow. they've been carrying for years. Wow. So how did you get involved with that the gun violence tour? Was that something that you said you just want to do? Like what how did your involvement well, come Well, um, this year when we celebrated our 20th anniversary, mm -hmm. One of the two things that we did that was different, and I mm -hmm. wanted to intertwine it in the festival, mm -hmm. uh, social issues. Okay. Yeah. When I went on CNN.com and mm -hmm. saw African American women save democracy, and this was the whole issue that took place in Alabama. But that's mm -hmm. it now. Yeah. Now, Doug I don't Jones, know. Doug I don't Jones. know. All my white girlfriends like, you know who's going <laughs> to save the world? Black women. I said, we already saved it. We mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> keep fucking it up. It's the problem. <laughs> We done saved it a couple of times, the world. Yeah. But okay. Uh, yeah. But that's like, yeah. that's the new. 3%? We're the new black. black. Yeah, is that, yeah, we are. <laughs> yep, we are. Right. We're yep. the new black. Right. So when I saw that article and uh, it was the whole Roy, Roy Moore. Roy, yeah, Roy mm -hmm. Moore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Versus Doug Jones. And I yeah. said, you know, we need to do a keynote panel on the importance of voting so mm -hmm. that our young people can understand their power. Yes. 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 I don't think it's been really, really, you know, taught to them in that way. And getting into local power. politics, like mm -hmm. becoming mm -hmm. community organizers and stuff like yes. that. That's so easy. Mm -hmm. Like there's there like so many black women are going into local politics. Yes. Ridiculous. Like they are. And and like look Record at Tish numbers. James. Yes. Look at Tish James. I'm like, proud of her. Tish, yeah. my girl. Like, <laughs> she's at my first event. I, I, I had this event, politics in the city, and she came to speak. Oh, wow. And she was she was running for public advocate. Then. Oh wow. And now I'm like, I know. I yeah. know. Tish I know the AG. <laughs> <laughs> I think somebody better bow down. We're so proud of her. But yeah, very I get it. Very proud. Very Because now when you right mm -hmm. once you come to the table, what mm -hmm. happens? Mm -hmm. We we've been conditioned so mm -hmm. long that once. We get to the table. We're mm -hmm. like, pass the peas. Listen, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I love that. <laughs> because we we know yeah what yeah. is needed because yeah. we've watched yes. and guided yes. for so long. Yes. we've ushered so many people to greatness. Yes, mm -hmm. and just sitting there like that mm -hmm. is so I true. Say yeah. say mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Don't say that. Yeah. That's enough. Yeah, we, that's us. That's it. That's us. That's the truth. Right. Oh, oh my gosh, right. I'm so glad that you are here. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, thank you're family. giving me some superpower. I'm like, I can do all things through Christ. That's I mean, in black ladies, that's <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Well, we, we, so we had the, the keynote panel, mm -hmm. and what really touched me was the young people that came mm -hmm. and showed up. Right. So we had leaders from the NAACP and different other organizations that really imparted some words to them. Okay. And that subsequently during that time, unfortunately, it was another mass shooting, the Parkland. Yeah. Parkland. Oh my Florida. gosh, Every it's like week. so yeah. many, <laughs> so many over and over again. Wow. But because of mental health. It, yeah. Mm -hmm. But when yeah. I saw the young people stood up and, guns. and fought, yes, mm -hmm. I said, we have to do something. Mm -hmm. So we outreached to our connections in a couple of cities and said, listen, we got to add our voice to this serious issue. Wow. And that's what happened. Again, you're just kind of like that trailblazer. You see a need and then you feel it. Mm. You know, you see a need and you feel it. That's, mm. that's amazing. No, thank you. Yeah. So yeah. you said that, that went really it. well and everything? It went so well. Mm -hmm. And what really touched me was the level 
of support from the cities that we went to, mm -hmm. the elected officials that came and participated and lend their voice. Mm -hmm. And then we really got to see what was going on behind the scenes, if you will. And so now we're going to gather all that intel, mm -hmm. as we say, and now put together a plan to see how we can even be of a greater effect going forward. Wow. wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, wow. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. So you're partnering with people moving yes, forward? Yes. That okay. yes. How do yes. we okay. assist? How do we assist that? Oh, What's the wow. plan one? Let us know. Yes. Well, we're definitely going to be, once we gather all our information and having everything structurized, if you mm -hmm. will, mm -hmm. we'll definitely be reaching out and Perfect. saying, let you know how you can be a part. We'd love to have you. Yeah. Oh, guns are, it's, it's too much gun violence in our community, it mental is, health in our it community. Is, it's such is. a, like, it's yeah, an emergency. We, we need so much. Mm -hmm. we, we need talk to, about it all. We need that mm -hmm. help. Mm -hmm. And we try to bring so much joy, but, mm -hmm. you know, these things that are happening, we have to talk about them. We right? have to. We have to. Right, mm -hmm. right. So, I mean, going forward mm -hmm. now, you know, 20, 21 <laughs> years, going into 22 years, <laughs> what can we expect from mm -hmm. Double A? Wow. W I C. Well, there's a lot that we're doing. We're preparing for our 21st annual film festival mm -hmm. in March. It's going to be really, really good. Four days. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be in New York? It's going to be in New York City. Okay. Okay. Prior to that, again, Sundance. Okay. Uh, looks like we're doing a new partnership for the Cannes Film Festival in May. Oh so we're working on that. That is amazing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so. But what does that partnership entail? What do you? Well, we're looking to actually uh, work on the diversity matter there, out okay. there, and bringing forth women of color and their talents and showcasing them. Right. Yes. That's mm -hmm. Important again, <laughs> diversity, diversity, diversity. It mm -hmm. matters. Representation. Yes. Right. <laughs> have you get, Have you gotten any pushback though? I know it's like you. You know, you're trying to push and you're trying to leave the door open. But have you gotten any pushback from the industry too in, in your efforts? Well, it, you know, yes, uh, in a lot of sense, especially when we first started, because, mm. you know, the industry is clickly, clickish, 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 there's an opportunity to partner and look at it as a win-win situation, mm -hmm. it makes it a little harder to find those who will. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was the biggest thing, trying mm -hmm. to create those partnerships. Mm -hmm. So, but now you have your tribe, because you say yeah. we all the time. Yeah. You've not yeah. said I, not one time. <laughs> <laughs> right, this so, is true. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. so now you have your tribe, and mm -hmm. that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That is yeah. amazing. Long time coming. Uh, still working on a few things, mm -hmm. as always, but excited. Right. Okay, so to a, to a filmmaker right now, mm -hmm. black woman wanting to, <laughs> you know, push forth their, their film, how would they do that? What would mm. your advice be to them? Well, I, I suggest that they certainly come to the film festival. Mm -hmm. uh, there you can meet and network because a lot of things happen in networking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A quick, quick getting story. The, yes, yeah. getting the getting the lighting, getting the the sound. It's mm -hmm. all about who you start know because people mm -hmm. do stuff on the strength. And you're mm -hmm. like, wait, yeah. like you're not gonna charge? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. I believe in the project. Mm -hmm. You're like, you do. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's true. Plus. It's okay. not as expensive right. as you think. Right. Well, quick story. One year we had Mr. Robert Townsend, and he okay. gave his workshop on how he made his first feature film. Mm -hmm. There was a inspiring actress in the audience. Mm -hmm. And so after he told his story, she was inspired now to become a filmmaker. Mm -hmm. The same year we honored Regina King. Mm -hmm. So she met Regina and somehow Regina felt comfortable enough to give her her cell phone number. And they connected and she ended up doing a short film starring Regina King and Jada Pinkett Smith. What? Look at God. <laughs> look, look at God. Look at God. <laughs> How much your tickets? <laughs> you about to go to the film festival now? All of them. My new pastime. What y'all doing? On your website. What are they doing now? <laughs> That so going, yeah, going story. to these events yeah. is worth the while. Right, 
Yes, and you absolutely. see it. Yeah. And you know, as a filmmaker, because not only do you get to meet people who can help you, but also you learn of opportunities that can push what you're doing forward. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's all about networking who you mm -hmm. know, wow. making those those um, partnerships. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what is your website? <laughs> uh, How can they find you? How can they connect yes. to you? Sure. It's www.aawic.org. A-A-W-I-C.org, guys. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> you were looking at them kind of angry. No, I just <laughs> want them like, to, to do, like, just, I want you to just do it. Like, mm -hmm. oh, my God. You got to support the queen. Girl. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. You can email us at info at A-A-W-I-C mm -hmm. dot org as mm -hmm. well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And your and your and your social media handles, social media, social media. I don't know. Yeah, um, Instagram is at a a w i c mm -hmm. fest. Perfect. Um, uh, Twitter is at a a w i c, mm -hmm. and the Facebook is uh, African American Women in Cinema International Film Festival. Awesome. African American Women in Cinema International, guys. Mm -hmm. Yep. Film yeah. festival. Film festival. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. <laughs> This has so been much. amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. You can come Thank back you. anytime. <laughs> right. Anytime. Exactly. <laughs> this, guys, please get your copy. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I'm doing the chapter signing December 3rd in Times Square. Are you oh, really? really? That's yes. amazing. Okay, great. Times yes. Square, December 3rd. 3rd. What mm -hmm. time? 6 to 9 p.m. Where? Okay. Well, the address we will, if you uh, email us at info at aawic.org. It'll be we'll on your sure. Facebook, right? Yes. Okay, so just Facebook. follow them on Facebook, mm -hmm. Twitter, Instagram, Instagram the and whole then they'll, thing. Put, it, they'll yes. put it on their um, social media handles and mm -hmm. you guys could get it on December 3rd. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Being a dad can be tough. No, no, no. What do you mean she's not coming? When's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. <laughs> but when you're willing to do anything... It is I, Cruz, Zinc or Bell. Yeah. Okay, time for cake. It's always worth it. I know it's really you, Drew. I'm just pretending for the other kids. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4-DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. So then that'll do it for this week's episode of What's the 411, your smart source oh, okay. for urban lifestyle and entertainment news. Okay. Until next week, Wait, yeah. get us up on our website, what's the 411.com. Since you took my first line, I'm going to go with the second line. Okay. And hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you What's in, the 411 TV. And if you're in a podcast, you can hit, you can listen to our podcast on Google Play, um, Stitcher, TuneIn, and Apple Podcasts. Yes. yes. And subscribe. I'm Subscribe to our YouTube channel, right? Which and I did say. Oh, you said that already? Yes, I did. So okay. I am Onika McLean, and on behalf of Kizzy Cox, because I just stole her lines, uh, until next week. <laughs>